Mike Bray was honored last month at the 9th Annual Dick Vitale Gala in Sarasota, Florida to help raise money for the fight against pediatric cancer through the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Great to be with Dick because I'm always invited down here each year because he wants a Notre Dame spring football update. Um, he has been asking me about the quarterback all evening, but uh, no, this is, an, this is a powerful event, you know. Uh, uh, we, I'm very involved in the Coaches versus Cancer program and have raised a lot of money in South Bend with that. I, my father's a cancer survivor, and um, when the V Foundation started and, and Dick and Lorraine spearheaded it with their energy, uh, you can't help but get caught up in it. And, and I felt, in a lot of ways, Jimmy V was a little bit of an indirect mentor to me. I was an assistant at Duke University in 1987 through 95. Um, when he was coaching and then finished coaching and um, was always a guy that would kind of take you under his wing and give you some advice about this business. I think he tried to talk me out of coaching a couple times, quite frankly. But um, powerful event, powerful night. Uh, each year I keep thinking there's no way they can outdo last year, and they do. Uh, but it's just a pleasure to be here and an honor to be here. Coach Bray was one of three collegiate heavyweight coaches to be honored that evening, along with Alabama football's Nick Saban and Indiana basketball's Tom Crean. Also in attendance were several other high-profile Division I head coaches, which enabled Coach Bray to take a good-natured jab during his remarks. And it's always interesting to hear the statistics, and they were rattled off tonight a bit, where we really have this disease on the run. Like, now is the time to be aggressive. Don't sit in a Syracuse 2-3 zone. Press full court. Get up and press full court and even hand check a little bit. The gala's namesake, Dick Vitale, displayed his passion about fighting and someday beating pediatric cancer. I love these young kids. Oh, please, please. I'm obsessed with what I do because there's no child should suffer the way I meet so many kids today. I don't know, my face has become synonymous, I guess, with pediatrics, but my wife will tell you that we cannot go a week without having to call kids in the hospitals or having to call a family. We have messages, emails, could they call this week, could that, I'm never gonna say no, but it takes a toll on you. It takes a toll on you because you put yourself, and we all believe it can't happen to us, but it can as it just happened to my agent. And I say, please, from the bottom of your heart, if you're lucky and you're fortunate and you're blessed like I've been blessed, don't be afraid to extend a hand with love in your heart. I know Jimmy V will be dancing up in heaven knowing that all of you are here today. God bless you. You're awesome, baby. God bless you. The gala, which also celebrated Vital's 75th birthday, raised over $2 million for pediatric cancer research.